so many people are looking for financial support when it comes to education and here we are talking about scholarship opportunities fully funded programs to study overseas and this is especially for people from africa asia latin america are looking for these opportunities uh you want to study in canada study in usc study in the uh, in Europe, Australia, New Zealand, and so many other countries. Uh, for those who know me, I had, I don't know whether it's just I was lucky, but I was very much prepared enough to be in a position to get different types of scholarships. I came to the United States of America back in 2008 through scholarships. And then I got another scholarship, then another scholarship. So I have written three books about scholarships but today i want to introduce something which i want to give you support so that you can be in a position also for you to get scholarships and this is a telegram group for scholarships i have a whatsapp group for scholarships but the whatsapp group is almost full and I don't want to start over another group of scholarships. And because it's already full, I have difficult times to share the links to answer people's questions. And I ended up to use so much time to respond to WhatsApp, to respond to the comments, to respond to so many things. And you know, WhatsApp groups are limited to 256, 260 people. But I'm trying to reach it to so many people if you start a telegram group you'll be having up to 200,000 people uh in that group so that's why i decided to move the whatsapp group or to start the telegram group which will be so many people from so many different countries the whatsapp group is more tanzanians but i want to have so many people from different countries but mostly from africa but if you're from asia you're from latin america you are welcome to there is no problem but uh, there are some of the guidelines of this particular uh, telegram group let's start with the name of the telegram group is ebm scholars so if it's a public group which you go to telegram and search ebm scholars you'll be able to find that one and in, in this video i'm going to share the link you can see the link on the description the link of the telegram group go and search that group and join or join through the link of the telegram group for scholarships this is not for green card lottery there is a group for green card lottery there is a group about youtube this is a group only about scholarship opportunities let's be clear on that the language we are going to use in that group is english so if you want to speak Swahili or Arabic or German, French, French or any other language, this is not that group. This is English. Another important instruction to join this particular group, to agree the terms of the group, is to be a mindful person, respecting others' opinion, use a very decent and good language in general. Don't be a much no to brush everybody off and use the bad language to others, disrespect, disrespecting other people. This we need to reach at a mature age of respecting others people. Even if we don't agree with the opinion, it's okay to challenge someone in a very respectful way. Come with the data, come with the information. So this group will be focusing into scholarship opportunities in two or three different ways. Number one will be sharing procedures on how you can be able to apply and get scholarships. But in this group, we'll be able to post specific scholarships where you can be able to go and get them. And in addition to that, we'll be able to share some resources. And I've said, like, I've written uh, some books. So these are the books I've written. Apart from this Swahili book, uh, which is called Uthaminu Gaibuni, that means scholarships overseas. I've written other books. I've written the book, uh, True Memoirs of the Scholarship Guy. This talks about uh, how I was able to get scholarships and what are the ways you can be able to use on your end and get scholarships. But this one is the masterpiece, which is called The PhD Scholarships for Africans in the United States. So just wait a minute. 
even if you're not African, you can use this book. You can be American, you can be someone from uh, Asia, Philippines, whatever country, or, or in the Middle East, you can be able to use the same book. You can be from uh, from Europe, you can use the same book. You can be from Latin America, you can use the same book. Because the procedures to apply for international students are the same. There will be smaller difference if you're international student versus American student. But the procedures are the same. And even if you're not looking for PhD, the procedures like, let's say, how are you going to write a resume, statement of purpose, getting good recommendations, all those kind of things are the same. They'll be here. How to get the, what we call the standardized test, how to get GRI, GMAT, statement of um, the English proficiency test, LSAT, MCAT, all those kind of things, they're here. Again, if you want to, what we call the official transcript, GPA, what are those kinds of things, they are here. So, it doesn't matter whether you are applying in Europe, you are applying in Canada, you are applying in Australia, you are applying in New Zealand, this book will be able to help you. And this book I'm going to share, if you join that group, you will be able to get the copy of this one in PDF, the free version of this book. And also, 60% uh, of this book has scholarships already. So if you go, let's say I want to study political science, you will find all the universities in America with scholarships for political science. If you want to study maybe in uh, microbiology, you will find here. You want to study anthropology, all the universities with anthropology. You want to study mathematics, you will find all the universities with math mathematics are here. So join this particular group. And make sure that you are the person looking for scholarships seriously. I prefer people who already have bachelor degree, that means they are looking for masters and people with masters looking for PhD, people with PhDs are looking for postdoctoral studies, this group will be very helpful for them. But if you are in high school looking for bachelor degree, yes you can come but there are very limited options or opportunities, you have to be honest. Uh, for people who are looking for bachelor's degree, yes, you can be able to get very good inputs to know how to apply, how to get scholarships. You can be able to get them. But there are very few opportunities for those people. You can be able to come there and learn all those opportunities which are available, but you can be also to know exactly what limitation you have. And even if you are still high school or you are a college student, you haven't finished, you need to know what are the results which are required what type of grade what a type of pro gpa you need to have how do you need to create some sort of good resume before you graduate how do you need to start volunteering working on your own you can come to these groups even if you're not looking for scholarships they can prepare you for the future how are you going to compete in the global market whether it be jobs or these opportunities. So even if you're not looking for scratch right now, five years to come, this group can be able to prepare you. And also to see some people who have got scholarships. So the true testimonies of people. That means by seeing them, it will give you, oh, this is possible. Because myself, I got first of all over 40,000 US dollar as a full body scholarship to come to America back in 2008 to come to teach Swahili language and also American culture, I mean African culture to American students. So that is how I came in 2008. Then I got two other scholarships. One was 36,000, another was 24,000. So one was to cover tuition and fees to study peace and justice studies or peace studies and conflict resolution at John B. Crock uh, School of Peace at the University of San Diego for masters, but also another scholarship, which is a Rotary Ambassador scholarship, was to cover for my living expenses, two thousand US dollar per month to cover my study. Uh, I mean, cost of living in California. So in total, I got sixty thousand to do my masters, and I got over forty thousand for other scholarship. So I got over hundred thousand US dollar to be able to study my life in America. That's how I came in America. I didn't win in the Green Card Lottery. I came through other ways, through education means. That's why I'm passionate to talk about scholarships, which I know, I tell people, is more guarantee way than winning a lottery. So while you are playing for the lottery, while you are looking for other ways, scholarships will be one of the best ways for you to be able to go as international students. Everything is fully covered. And when I talk about full scholarships, I mean they cover tuition, fees and living expenses. Some, they cover even visa and 
flight ticket, but majority of them, they don't cover visa and those kind of things. And uh, there are a few things I want to hear. Uh, I just, I, and on this type of books, I usually tell people very frankly how to go about it, how to avoid this kind of sympathy people having. Oh, you know, I, 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 I'm off and I didn't get to this opportunity because my, my father didn't stay at home. They don't care those kind of stories. They want you to be able to compete. This is a capitalism. It is a capitalistic competitive market. So you, you have to find how you can be able to sell yourself and not feeling sorry. People don't feel sorry for you. So these are the techniques which we are sharing into this group. So please join the, uh, the Telegram group, which is called EBM Scholars Telegram group. If you search it, but it's on the link, go and get it and join there and meet there so that you can be in a position to share and find these opportunities. This is a group for everybody as long as you are looking for scholarships, but the language is English. I want you to be very clear from the beginning. I don't want to start like, I usually I don't have the behavior of banning people or becoming like a dictator. I don't care. I usually don't have time to be every time to monitor the group. I don't have that time. So let's be respectful. Let's be people who are very positive, supporting one another, sharing the opportunities and the ideas on how can you be able to get all these opportunities for others. So thank you. Remember to share this video and the Telegram group for scholarships to everyone who is looking for these scholarships. We want to make sure that people get this scholarship. Okay, again, this is Ernest Boniface Makulo EBM talking from Missouri, United States of America. Goodbye, everyone.